All right, here we go. We have a uh, 06 Cobalt with a noisy front end. Um, it sounds like the brakes or the shocks or something is loose. Um, obviously, wh whoever owned the car before, as you can see, replaced the A-arms. The, the A-arm bushings are new. The one in the back that I thought was bad is is good. You know, it's, you know, I put a crowbar in there and it held good. Um, so I'm sure that's not it. And uh, so we're gonna change the stabilizer links because these always fail. Um, they're a little rusted, so I heated them up with the uh, with a plumber's torch. And I got size 18 holding the nut in the back and the front. Make sure you spray penetrating uh, fluid on it uh, so it can let off some of the rust. I'm going to heat it up again. And then I'll put the socket back on, which is a 17 millimeter. And I'll hold the wrench and the socket at the same time. And that should break it. But, you know, they're definitely frozen. And a lot of people I've seen uh, uh, on uh, YouTube here that there's a lot of people that have this problem on these cobalts with a noisy suspension and the problem is the stabilizer bars. It's not the sway bar bushing. I mean, if, obviously if your A-arm is pushing the tutorial, especially the one in the back, if it fell apart and it fell out, if the one back there, the big one, the big circle one, and the uh, A-arm, that one right there, if that one fell out or the, a the arm is touching the body, then yeah, you gotta replace it. But usually, or you know, this is the problem, these uh, links. So let me get this loose and take it out and I'll show you why. All right, so here we go. I just finished heating it up with the uh, with the plumber's torch. You know, the little heat, just make sure you don't hit nothing else with grease, just the nut. Heat the nut up to his uh, kind of cherry red. Don't go too crazy. And now just uh, remember, everything's hot. Make sure you got this stabilizer bar has an 18 inch. Just rip out the little boot that covers it so you can really see and get the wrench in there. So this is an 18 and uh, I have a 17 for the nut. So he'll hold it on one side and then I'll just pry up on it. Uh, and once it cracks, just go nice and easy. Remember the bolt is really rusty and you don't want to strip the nut. But you have to heat them up. If they're rusty and they look rusty, you live in New England where we throw salt on everything, uh, that's what you're gonna need. You're gonna need a little bit of heat on this to get it loose, cause the, the one on top was the pain in the ass, but you wanna loosen up the one on the top. And for you to get your wrench in here to loosen this nut, you're gonna need a jack, put a jack underneath the sway bar and jack it up a little bit. Otherwise, you'll be hitting the A-arm. You can't get the socket in there. So just jack up the sway bar a little bit so you're able to get the socket in there. So you can get clearance. You gotta bring that bolt above the A-arm. Otherwise, you won't be able to get to it. It'll be a pain in the ass. And make sure you use the big sockets because this requires a lot of torque. You won't do it with the uh, with the three eighths. You need the, the half inch, the half inch, and make sure you eat a, eat a good breakfast. <laughs> All right, you know, if you eat cereal in the morning, forget it. You're not gonna get it. You're not gonna be able to do it. All right, so this is the uh, lower part of the link, the one I was just showing you. Uh, yeah, you can see. Can you see that play? Let's focus in on there. Mm -hmm. Get some light on it. No, you see. Like, you see that little play in here? You see it? Now it's wiggling around. That's not supposed to wiggle. It's dangling. So it's it's worn out. It that wiggling that's here. This is it should not wiggle up and down. It can move around like this one. This one's okay still. See, there's no wiggle here. This one is still good. It's stiff. But this one is worn out, is pretty shot. So that's what's that's what's making a noise. That little bit of wiggle right here, every time you hit a bump, it sounds, it gives you that dud, that ugly feeling. And yeah, that's what it is. If it's like that, you already know you need it. Just replace them. We got new ones. We got new ones here. This is what it looks like. This is a, they move around like this. 
like a joystick type deal, but they're not wobbly, you see. They don't flop around, there's no play in them. So this should fix our problem. I got these on uh, Rock Auto, 20 bucks. Uh, don't overpay for these things. Uh, just go online and uh, get them off, get them online. Alrighty. All right, so we're now on the passenger side doing the tie right ends. Um, when they're in place and you move them, there's no play. You wouldn't think that it's bad. But if I pop it out, if I pop it out of here where it has no more tension on it, look at this bottom one. Look at it from the front, from the front. No, no, from the front here. Go on that way. Mm -hmm. Look how much play is in here. Can you guys see how it's wobbling? I'm moving in easy, close to a quarter inch of movement inside. That is a lot of movement. That should not be like that. I don't know if you can see it, but that's a lot. Once you loosen it up, you can see it. That's a lot of play. And that, I'm pretty sure when you go over a bump, makes the noise that everybody hates. So we're changing this side. Um, this bolt is really corroded. I'm gonna have to cut it off with the cutoff tool. But that's what that's what a bad tie ride looks like. That much play when you're going up and down. Sway bar. Yeah, uh, the stabilizer bar. I mean, they're supposed to move like this. You know, this one is stiff. See how stiff it is? There's no play. This side, this side is still good, but this side here is just like jello, worn out. All right.